you're rethinking, you're retelling, you're reliving. And especially if you're reliving things that somebody else did to you, like the pain. And you know, you ever have those moments where you start to relive, I should have done this, I should have said this. Do you know it actually activates the same part of the brain that's activated when you do cocaine? So it becomes addictive. Yeah, it makes you high. Think about that. As even though it's negative feelings, you're like, yeah, you're having this whole thing happen. And it's like, I always look at, I want, you know, I always look at is what I'm doing leading me to, a, to the path I want to go to. If it's not, then I try to relinquish. I'm like, listen, it's okay to feel bad, but you will feel less bad if you can keep that momentum going. Being stuck and in that place of victimhood or fear or procrastination, do you think that victimhood is addictive? I think it becomes a habit. I don't think most people want to be there. If you ask anybody, nobody's gonna say, yeah, I love it. But what happens is it becomes a habit and it's a pattern of behavior and a pattern and a way of thinking that you become used to. What's the reward in that habit cycle then? I don't know if there's a reward and I don't know if people think about it. 